Hi everybody, it is winter in Minnesota and that is a fantastic time to play card games and board games. Although actually I like to play card games and board games whether it's summertime, wintertime, springtime, fall, any kind of weather, anytime, I'm up for a game. Today I have six upgrades and accessories to enhance your board game and card game experience. If you are a tactile person like me, then a dice game is immediately engaging. The kinetic energy, the randomness, the anticipation, the clacking noise as you shake and roll. I love it. I was a little bit nervous ordering dice sight unseen. Are the sizes or colors going to be weird? Are the dots going to be evenly distributed and painted well? Uh, will I get the same number of dice per color? You never know. This big jar arrived in the mail and the first thing I did was separated them by color. And there are 120 dice in this jar. 10 colors, 12 dice each, no surprises. Standard sizes, beautiful alignment on the dots, well painted, beautiful colors, light green, dark green, yellow, orange, red, brown, pink, purple, light blue and dark blue. These are great for replacement dice or for dice games that require a lot of dice of the same colors or even uh, some games where you just want to give everybody their own set so you're not passing dice around the table. Games that require a lot of dice, these are great upgrades for your current dice game. This is the Buio dice tray with lid. It is octagon shaped, covered in faux leather, and lined with red felt. This does not come with dice, but it has plenty of storage to hold dice around the edges or in the middle. You can use the base as a mini dice tray. You can use the lid for an even larger dice tray. This is one of those accessories that are not specific to any one game, but useful for any dice game. When you are all done playing, you can simply put the lid back on the base and you're ready to go home. No matter what game you are playing, a fresh deck of cards always adds a little something to a game night. Well, how about 10 fresh decks of cards? This is a 10 deck collection from Swinlea. Five gold, five black. The boxes are covered in gold foil or black foil they pick up the light, they look gorgeous. Even the inside of the box is reflective gold. Look at these things. The back of the cards have a reflective geometric pattern, same as what's on the cover. These cards are just beautiful. Look at these. They aren't white, but they are easy to read. These black cards are stunning. Silver and gold with the background of black just makes the detail pop. I think I might like the black deck better, but you don't have to choose, you get both. These are going to add elegance and sophistication to any card game. This is the automatic card dealer from K-Paw. I really want to like this, but it is infuriatingly complicated. <laughs> there, I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing wrong. There is some kind of a magic key combination that gets you into a menuing system, but I don't know what it is. I, and it doesn't seem to be consistent. It seems like I'm trying to repeat the same action multiple times because I, I have been in the menu before. I, I have seen where you can set the number of players, the number of cards, uh, even which game you're playing. You can supposedly set it for any game, poker, bridge, uno, anything, but I just can't get it to work properly. I have seen the menu where I got it into poker once or they call it Texas Hold'em. And 
I, I could see that it was dealing the flop and it was uh, issuing cards to the players and dealt the river and things like that. But I can't, I can't get it to, to work consistently. Um, and these buttons are kind of cool. Um, the, well, they say that the, the card dealer supports up to 12 players, but they only give you four buttons. What are these buttons? These are the give me a card button. So if I press this button, okay, well, let's, <laughs> all right. So that, uh, I, I'm, I, I had it opposite of the way it should be. So let's do this. And now if I press the first player button, it deals a card to the first player. That's pretty cool. But why can't I just, why is there no button that says menu? I, if they simplified the menuing system, this could be an interesting product. But as it is now, I just don't get it. And I, I've been looking at this for an hour and it shouldn't take that long. <laughs> this should not be a complicated process. Well, if it takes longer to figure out how to use the machine than it does to just deal the card, then I'm just going to deal the card because this shouldn't be this complicated. This falls into the category of game upgrades or replacement. These are pawns. You get six different colors and 20 of each color. These look like they have a head, a torso, and two arms, but that could be just a coincidence. Each pawn is translucent and beautiful. I suppose it's a matter of opinion. If you believe that a clear acrylic pawn is more beautiful, more enticing than a wooden pawn, but I like them. These are excellent replacement or enhancement pieces. In fact, I would like to see more shapes from this company, maybe cylinders or cubes, who knows what. Point is you get 120 of these. They are excellent quality and I do think they enhance the game. These are game upgrades or replacements for meeples. What's a meeple? It is the representation of a person, a head, two arms, two legs, a torso. That's what a meeple is. It looks like a little person. This set includes six different colors, yellow, green, blue, purple, red, and black, or maybe gray, maybe smoke, whatever you want to call it. There are 144 pieces total, and there are 24 of each color. Even if you haven't lost any of the meeples that came with your existing game, you might want to get this anyway. I consider this a game upgrade. I think it's more fun playing with acrylic pieces than wooden pieces, for example. Or maybe the meeples that came with your game are in colors that you don't care for. And these are nice. These are high quality pieces. I don't see any occlusions in these meeples. Well, I'm sure it wouldn't hold up to a jeweler scope, but just looking at them, they are translucent and gorgeous. If it wouldn't be too much to ask, I would like to see another set with six completely different colors just to mix things up. 24 meeples is a lot of meeples. I can't think of any game that I have that requires more than 24 meeples per player. I think this is a fantastic product and I just want more from this company. There you have it, six different products to enhance or upgrade your gaming night. What do you think? Did I find some good stuff? Let me know what you like in the comments below.